Red Max Entertainment, turning music into memories. Hello guys, this is Brandon Havrillo from Red Max Entertainment. And today we're back and we're taking a look at patching in your fixtures into My DMX 3. Now My DMX 3 has a very similar patching bay as My DMX 2.0 and 2.1. Um, but there are a few different changes um, that they made. So first things first, when you're in this patch window here, um, you'll see your universe. Now this is going to be now this is going to be all 512 channels in one um, universe, basically. So you'll see 512, um, and then you could add other universes here. And in the preferences panel, you can assign these universes to different dongles. So if you have a MyDMX 3 point or 3, and then you have a MyDMX Buddy, you could assign them to two different universes and, and gain more fixtures that way. Now, here you've got your fixture library um, that AGJ is constantly updating. Every time there's an update, there's usually more fixtures that are added here. Um, so you can find your fixture in here. Um, you know, and then when once you find your fixture, let me. You could also search it up here. So I'm gonna search InnoSpot LED uh, InnoSpot Pro. So this is this is a 14 channel light. Okay, so there's only one option for it. Whereas some other lights, like the Inno Pocket Beam, has three modes. And those are the modes you could set on the fixture, okay? You've got a 10 channel, an 11 channel mode, and a 13 channel. So let's say we want the 11 channel mode. You're gonna highlight it. Then down here, DMX Universe. Well, we want this in DMX Universe 1. It's not gonna give us any other options because we only have one universe created. Then first DMX channel, let's say we wanna patch it to channel 10. You could choose that there. And let's say we have four of these fixtures, so choose four. Index number is not important for patching in the fixtures, and then you hit patch. It's going to say patching in, and then when we scroll back up, you will see starting at channel 10, because that's what we chose. Right there is channel 10, and it patched four of them right after each other, so the next available DMX channels where it put the next one. That is one way to patch them in. Another way is say we want an inno pocket roll. Just click and drag it in. All right. Now, if you get one, say we want an inno pocket beam that is running in mode one, you could also just click and drag the mode. And then say you want one in mode two, you can click and drag the mode that way. Now, if you patch a fixture that you don't want, you could right click it and you can click delete and then delete fixtures. Okay, we're going to delete this one too. And now this inno pocket roll. Another way to delete it is once you click on it, click on this X up here, and then delete fixtures. So you, they give you multiple options based on what you're comfortable with and um, so on. So I'm going to shift these over to channel 1, 12, and 23, and 34. So if you need to refer back to this to address your fixtures after the fact, you can't see any of these numbers, so what you do is click on the fixture, and it will tell you the number at the beginning, and none of the others, or you just do what I just did and highlight over the fixture like this with your mouse, and it will give you the name of it, it will give you the library it's in, the universe, the address, and the number of channels that it's running. So that's a quick, easy way to access all the information after the fact that you've patched the fixtures in. Now, the next cool feature is up here in the top right, they show you the dip switch configuration. So if you're running lights that require dip switches rather than like a LED DMX menu or display, it tells you right here what the DMX settings have to be for that fixture. And you'll see it changes as we click on each fixture and patch them in. Now, say you patch one of these in and now you want another one. Now you could press this button here, the two squares, it's the copy button. And then the button right to the right of it is the paste button. And you'll see it paste another one right on the next available channel. Now, renaming these. What you do is click on one of them and come up here to this little line through the square, and that's going to be your renaming button. There you can erase what's there and name it. So let's call it spot left. 
and then press OK, and you'll see it changes it there. Now it changes it to point 0.1 because we have multiple of these fixtures. So we can delete this one and spot right. And you'll see it's spot right point 0.1. And this one, if we make this one spot right, it's going to be spot right point 0.1. And spot left. So there we go, because those are, you know, the same fixtures. You can name them that way. Now, that's the basics of patching in your fixtures. So you can always use this option here or just use the um, click and drag method. If your fixture is not in here and there's no profile for your fixture in here, there's a few things you could do. By clicking this button here, you can import. So this will bring you to your computer files where you can import SSL files, which are the profile files. Now you could find these um, from support text from ADJ. You could shoot them an email and they'll get back to you rather quickly with the profile you requested. Um, you could also contact um, me for a, a profile and the easier way to get one um, or at least to look through a second library is going to be down in the description. There's going to be a link to James um, Jingles on YouTube, his Dropbox of all his profiles. So that is open for you guys to look through and look at. Um, he's constantly updating that and adding profiles when he makes them. So if your fixture is not in there, then you can go ahead and contact ADJ. But most likely between their library that it comes with and that one down below, you can find that. So once again, that link will be in the description. Right above that will be the link to James' channel. You can check that out. He's got plenty of videos out on my DMX3 as well. And last but not least, changing the colors of these. So once you patch these in, right click, go over to colors, and you've got nine different colors you could choose from. And you could organize these based on color. So say we want all of these to be blue. And we just want this one to be red. There we go. Now we just color coordinated these. So if you have, you know, a full universe of these, that could come in really handy. Thank you guys for watching. This is how do you patch your fixtures in my DMX3.